peace and blessings, abundant souls. Welcome back to the Abundantly Ever After show. I am your host, Shamanic Money Priestess Giovanna, and I am so excited to be back in the studio recording new episodes and guiding you towards your own Abundantly Ever After. So this episode is about detours, divine timing, and evolution. And um, you may have heard me call myself the spiritual love healer before, that it was always going to be who I am, but things have really evolved. And I felt that it was time to really dig in and root myself into this new way of being. So I'm going to get into all of that in just a moment. Um, so I will explain like who I am, but first I want to share who I was and most importantly, who I am becoming and what the shamanic money priestess is all about. So let's dive into it. Um, a good portion of my life has been filled with struggle, toxic relationships, including like family, friends, um, intimate, romantic partnerships, had money, lost money, um, just all the things. I've been through it all. I've been, you know, beaten, broken, and then left to figure it out. And I did. I figured it out. Along the way, I made a lot of mistakes, often did not know what I was doing. Um, I was hurting, but I kept going. There was always this part of me that just kept going. And um, like I like to say, always look to the light, which sometimes can be hard to do. Uh, but my spirit, my spiritual practices, my spiritual connection to the divine was always what kept me going, even in times when I really just wanted to throw my hands up and say, screw all this, I'm done. So that inner light continued to shine and that allowed me to get to the other side of struggle, of lack, of limitation, of victimhood, of abuse, of trauma, of the pains that I experienced, um, which is one of the reasons why I really love the work that I do. I am a licensed, now a licensed massage and bodywork therapist. I'm also a master life coach with a emphasis on including spiritual in there. Um, I am a energy healing practitioner certified in a number of different modalities because I truly, truly love helping and supporting people overcome their own pain and trauma because I know what it's like to do that and not have support. And I did not, I wanted to be that support for other people. And that's why I've done healing work as a spiritual love healer. I've done coaching work and continue to do those things just in different ways now. So, you know, I was able to find myself and reconnect to the truth about love and about abundance. And I discovered that both love and money are abundance and that they are plentiful um, it became my mission to really help women, um, especially single moms and the disenfranchised to release pain and trauma so that they can actually live, so that we can live. Because one of the things that I've experienced and that I witness is that when we have experienced trauma and there's multiple forms of trauma, but when you do experience trauma, oftentimes it keeps you from living. You may be on autopilot, you might just kind of just do the bare minimum just to coast through the day, but you're not always truly living and you may have lost your passion or your zest for life. And so many of us aren't living because we're operating off old stories that our society or caretakers have implanted in us and it's we're, that's, that's over. We're releasing old stories, limited ways of thinking so that we can claim abundance in our lives. Abundantly Ever After was coined because I wanted it to go beyond just being happy. I want you to experience abundance in every area of your life, mentally, physically, financially, spiritually, whether that's an abundance of travel, an abundance of joy, of bliss, of beauty, of pleasure, of laughter, of whatever it is that your heart desires of success. You can experience that. Life is too beautiful for your mind to be clouded with fear, resentment, heartache. So what? If you made mistakes, we all do. It doesn't matter like where you came from, what you've experienced, but what does matter is where you choose to go from now. So I'm Giovanna Tisdale, also known as a spiritual love healer. I am a shamanic money priestess. 
and I'm here to help you tap into the frequency of abundance in all areas of your life. I have a beautiful vision for my life that I have not fully reached yet, but I see it and I am on my way to doing that. And I've manifested so many things that I have set my heart and mind to, and I know that I can show you how to do that. One of the things that I've manifested most recently was becoming a licensed massage therapist. Um, and I'll talk about that later. I actually had like a blank copy of a massage therapy license on my vision board in 2018, and I wrote my name on it. Didn't know when or how that it was going to happen, but in 2022, I manifested that shit. Um, I have been working as a spiritual healer and coach um, for what, like six years now. Um, then I've now added massage into the mix, and I am in the process of realigning with my business, Spiritual Love Sanctuary, because I want to serve women. I want to focus on women's wellness, using massage to help release trauma. Um, definitely like helping women through the various stages of becoming a mother, whether that's preconception, um, all the way up through postpartum. Like I really want to support mothers, which leans into um, my sacred mother work through Healing Single Mothers, which is a book that I am currently working on. Um, I just, I want to support women in reclaiming um, and realigning with the divine feminine, with really bringing the sacredness back to motherhood and just all these different things. I'm working on that. And um, my work as a spiritual love healer has since shifted. I've kind of like stepped back from that and really want to help people focus on abundance. Because one of the things that I noticed, especially in my work around relationships, is that a lot of women, especially, do not feel worthy. And that affects us in our romantic relationships, but more so in our money. And right now, with the way things are going, like we need that financial empowerment. We need that financial freedom. So I really want to focus there because once we have that at our core and our root, that will blossom us open for healthier relationships, for better jobs, for just so many different things. Um, and so I'm going to be still offering some of the same things. So like um, energetics, going to be doing um, coaching, maybe a community, like there will be different ways to really support you in activating abundance in your life. And I'm so, so excited about that. Um, so I also wanted to move away from healing because I do see that so many people are stuck in the, like, I need to heal. And they forget that healing is allowing yourself to live and show up as this new version of you that is healed. And so I wanted to move away from that and focus more on the living. And really it's allowing yourself to choose to live no matter what you've gone through. So I've declared that I am healed and you can declare that too, because you get to be happy, loved, wealthy, healthy, and all the things because you can. So here in the realm of abundance, in the realm of living abundantly ever after, we are changing our lives, not necessarily by doing anything super huge or monumental, but really by taking baby steps in our day-to-day -day lives, because it is those small actions that become new habits. And the habits are what lead to the massive transformation. And I know for me, even it feels like you're not moving forward with baby steps. It feels like sometimes you just have to do something huge and monumental, but taking those little steps does lead to big impact because one day you'll look up and see that you are actually living your dream. So I come to you as a woman, a friend, a mother, a healer, a coach, an intuitive, a spiritual be being to share my knowledge, my gifts, my skills, my experiences, to help you level up and expand into a higher level of life. So that is what we are doing here through um, the Shamanic Money Priestess portal. And I will talk more about what that is going to be. But I want to share like how this kind of even got started or derailed in a sense. So when I first became a coach in 2015, um, I hid the fact that I was intuitive for the most part and that I worked with um, divination tools like um, angel cards, tarot, oracle cards, things like that, because it was frowned upon in so many of these like blogging and coaching groups. Oh, my goodness. Anyways, 
one of the very first first coaches that I actually hired, I paid and worked with, I felt so robbed. Um, I want to say it was probably like two or three hundred dollars that I paid. It wasn't more than that. And I was like dead set on going in. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And I wanted to help women get their lives in order by focusing on their finances. Because I had been financially disempowered um, most of my life. And I saw how important money and financial security was. I had to be dependent on an abusive man. And that taught me so much about having my own about why I never wanted to have to depend on someone else like that again. So when I worked with her, I was a new mom again and had just became a single mother because I had refused to let another man drag me down. So I was in transition within my relationship and things like that. So we were discussing niches. I am not one that likes to quote unquote niche because I am a very, anyways, that's a whole nother story, but yes. So I said that I wanted to help people, women improve their finances. And I explained why. And she was like, you can't do that. She said I couldn't do it because I wasn't thriving. And I knew that I wasn't where I wanted to be financially um, because I had healed my finances. I had gotten myself out of a mess. Things were improving. And I knew enough to help other people. But she said that I couldn't do it because in her eyes, I wasn't successful or I wasn't qualified, even though I had the education, I was using the knowledge. Um, But yeah, that was a very harmful coaching experience for me. And her words haunted me to the point that the coming forward of the shamanic never money priestess would have never happened. Um, And even still, as I'm answering this spiritual calling to talk about abundance and help people heal on this level, those words are still there, but this time it's not me shrinking down and choosing the safe path where I healed and coached around love and relationships. I'm screaming back, fuck you, like I should have did all those years ago. Yes, I can, and I will. Because one small person who laughed at me, who ostracized me because of the way I stand in the power of spirituality and energetics cannot stop what the divine has ordered me to do. I've grown in so many ways, and I know that I'm here to serve in the realm of abundance. And within there, we're still going to talk about relationships and other things that matter, healing and spirituality, because all of that stuff is connected and combined. You know, this has been in my awareness for a very long time. Even as a child, I had very much um, dreamed of living a luxurious life. I knew that I was meant for more, that I was supposed to travel the world in private jets, um, painting in the most divine places. Like those visions that I had for my life as a child never left me, but they were buried under years of trauma, of pain and fear. And so they were beginning to resurface when I, you know, wanted to start coaching as, um, you know, coaching other people to get their financial shit in order. And then it was stomped down. And so I had a conversation with Pamela Chen. She's a magical, magical soul. I love her. I love her. I love her. And I remembered this essence of myself and I saw it and felt that that was possible again. And it was so scary. So I kind of stuffed it down. Every day I would see this expanded vision of myself, this version of myself. And I didn't know who she was, but I knew that it was me in some other realm or some different form of this evolved. And then I realized that it was shamanic money priestess. It was this aspect of myself that was waiting for me. And I tried to ignore it, thinking that I was not ready. I couldn't do it. Who am I to do this? And the answer to that question was within me. Like that is me. That is the evolution of me. That's one aspect of my soul. And so I tried to like, just go back to the norm, keep doing what I was doing. I tried to streamline everything and squeeze it into like the other things that I was doing and everything just got muddied and confused. And I felt like super disconnected from my work. So I took a break. Um, during this time I was in school, I became a licensed massage and bodywork therapist, but this energy, like I would see it and feel it every single day. And I would just try to ignore it. (laughs) 
but it was such a ceremonial experience that on actually I think it was on Good Friday I decided that I was going to kind of retire the spiritual love healer like I no longer it no longer felt aligned or that it fit and I just knew something else was coming so I started deactivating my websites and social um, not really knowing why, but also knowing that, you know, where I had gotten with the spiritual love healer had reached its peak and that it was time to evolve. And so Easter, I woke up and it was just this clear, like, download that it's time to embody the shamanic money priestess. So everything that I have learned and experienced since 2015 has helped me master business, energetics, holding space for abundant souls, like putting my intuitive skills, my healing skills, my coaching skills, putting all of that to use. And I'm grateful to have had that that experience because now that I am working and have the guidance of not only myself, but my spiritual team, as well as an amazing magical coach, and knowing that I'm ready to like embody this and to show up and serve, it's it's just phenomenal. And so I titled this Detours divine timing and evolution, because sometimes we have to get rerouted so that we can collect things along the way. And had I not gotten derailed by that coach, I would not be so grounded, determined, and committed to really working in this energy and emerging as a shamanic money priestess. Like everything happens in divine timing, and this is my time. I also wouldn't have the clarity being free from toxic relationships. I would not have the support in my life that I have now. I would not have the stability that I have now that is freeing me up to really dive into this, um, these teachings and this business to really develop it and mold it in a way that it is going to be powerful and impact the world. Like, I'm so excited. And to this day, like that money that I spent with that coach, like was probably one of, goes on the list of the biggest waste. But even knowing that, you know, this was part of my journey, there were things that I needed to learn. And would that to happen today, I would absolutely respond differently and advocate for myself and also fire them. So yeah, um, I've paid like $5,000 to work with one of the best coaches, Christina Ambubiag. I love her. Absolutely love her. Um, She helped me to learn to trust not only the coaching process, but my intuition and really helped me develop my business where I was doing coaching and healing work that I absolutely love. And it felt really good to me at that time. And I will definitely be working with her again because she's absolutely worth it. And I just adore her. So we're going to talk about feeling good when spending money because that is important. Everything is energy. um, And it is also your time because I'm here to elevate you in love and abundance. So When we think about detours, think about the ways in which your life has kind of been taken off the path that you probably thought it was supposed to be on. And maybe like where you are now, if you can look back at the things that you went through, what lessons have you learned? What skills have you gained? How have those experiences shaped you? And then when you're ready, like when you're ready, you know that you're ready. So if you know that you're ready for more, you're not going to be comfortable with settling with what you had in the past. You are going to have a hunger, a thirst to like look for what's next. What's next? And oftentimes we know what it is. It's something that has been planted within us already and it's sitting there and we're probably ignoring it, avoiding all the signs thinking that we're not ready, but you know that it's time for more. You know that it's time to step up in your life in a big way, whether it's in your money space, your workspace, your relationship space, your whatever it is, like, you know, when it's time for a change and transformation. And I feel like collectively, like, that's what's happening. I would say out of all the things, like, this feels very different for me. And I cannot wait to see what unfolds on this podcast. And I want to start having guests and doing, you know, live video tapings of the Abundantly Ever After show. I have amazing, amazing ideas and plans for this show. So it is our time to evolve. And 
I'm going to be sharing my journey of evolution with you as I walk this path, as I shift my focus and really anchor myself into these teachings. Um, I have been doing these amazing um, abundance code activations and I have some amazing sessions coming available where people can work with me to get that um, experience and to shift the flow and um, of abundance in their lives. So some small shifts. You can find me at shamanicmoneypriestess.com and also on Instagram at shamanicmoneypriestess where I will be talking all things living abundantly ever after, sharing money mantras, money messages, um, and also practical tools. So that's one of the things that I really want to be clear about. Like this won't be super like esoteric super, I hate this term, but I'm going to say it, super woo-woo. Like, I want to make this tangible and practical so that you can, like, use this stuff. And I know that there is, there are levels. So I also want to serve in a way that helps people who are just trying to stay above water. And then there are people who are ready to, like, expand and do other things. So I want to share information for that, too. But I want to make this super accessible because we all need it. Um, There's this quote that I shared recently, and it's from, I think his name was David Bach. Let me see if I can grab it really quickly because it was a very, very powerful quote. He said that we are all playing the money game whether we want to or not. So the full quote is, the fact is none of us really have a choice. We are all playing the money game we want to or not. The only question is, are we winning? So when I heard that, like it, like it hit me, it landed so deeply. No matter how much we say we don't want to be rich or we don't need to wear the labels or whatever it is, money's not that important. It absolutely is. We need it for every single thing. You need it to keep a roof over your head, to keep food in your refrigerator, to keep electricity running so that we can like live and operate in this electrical powered society and I'm ready to win because I deserve it if I have to play this game I'm going to play to win and I want you to take a look around yourself and decide if you are ready to play to win too so money allows access it allows you freedom it empowers you and so much more so it's time for us to evolve into abundance in whatever way that looks like for you, whether you just want to have enough, you know, to cover the next six months of bills or whether you're ready to fly on private jets to beautiful destinations, traveling the world, experiencing life on whatever frequency. So welcome back to the Abundantly Ever After show. I am your host, Shamanic Money Priestess, Giovanna. I am your abundance activator, your healer, your guide, and your money oracle here to transform your life, helping you release pain, release trauma so that you can live abundantly ever after. Peace.